If you have a graphics card in your host computer, it may not be fully utilized in your VirtualBox guest Ubuntu 12.04 or Ubuntu 12.10. The graphics card uses its GPU or graphical processing unit to improve graphics speed much faster than the CPU or central processing unit of the host machine can. VirtualBox and Ubuntu 12 do not seem to play well together when it comes to Unity 3D. And this may really slow down, the, especially the Ubuntu 12.10 desktop. This demonstrates about manually installing VirtualBox guest editions so that Ubuntu can take full advantage of Unity 3D support from your graphics card. The outcomes for this video are verify that display acceleration is set to 3D and RAM, random access memory, meets minimum specifications. Check if Unity 3D support is enabled by running the Unity support test file on Ubuntu or inside Ubuntu. If Unity 3D support is not enabled, ensure that Linux headers and build essential files are installed. You need to install them prior to running guest editions from the command line. Append VBox video to the etc. modules file and recheck that to determine that Unity 3D support is enabled. Graphics card installed on your computer. Uh, it's basically beyond the scope of this video to determine if this graphics card will support Ubuntu 12 running inside VirtualBox, but most seem to be able to do so. VirtualBox 4.2 or higher, Ubuntu 12.10 or 12.04 installed in VirtualBox. One outcome of this video should be that your Ubuntu desktop should run a little bit quicker, especially Ubuntu 12.10. Additional info, there's an ask questions, askubuntu.com uh, about why uh, Ubuntu guest runs very slowly and gives a similar installation, uh, similar procedure to this, but without as much detailed explanation. Actually, it's very, it's very short and it works too. Before starting your manual VirtualBox guest editions installation in an Ubuntu desktop, please make sure that your VirtualBox 12.10 desktop has 768 megabytes of memory, which is listed right here or set right here, or your Ubuntu 12.04 desktop has 512 megabytes of memory. In this case, this is an Ubuntu 12.10 desktop and has a minimum amount of memory, which is 12, 768 megabytes. Also make sure that display has 3D acceleration enabled. If you have important, that's this checked off. If you have important files, you may want to either take a snapshot of the machine as it's running or right click here and, and, and do a clone of the machine. Both are methods of backing up your machine. The clone would probably be a little bit more stable than a snapshot, I think. You ready to go ahead? We're going to start our Ubuntu 12.10 desktop. Here we have an Ubuntu 12.10 uh, desktop running inside uh, VirtualBox. And so the first thing we're going to do is check for Unity 3D support. Go to Dash Home and let's open up a terminal window. Open up terminal window. What we're going to have key into it, we're going to have to do a test. It's US USR lib nux unity underscore support underscore test dash p. And if you know that it says unity 3D is not supported. So uh, one of the things we have to need to make sure is that we've got the correct Linux headers in, in our version here. So to find your version of uh, headers or Linux that's on your current machine is you name R and so let's go to make sure that apt get install Linux headers dash dollar and then you name space dash R and that will make sure that we've got correct Linux headers on this machine.
zero upgraded so they're not there but we've got some extra headers so uh, that may cause some problems with the uh, VirtualBox uh, install or VirtualBox guest editions install so we better get rid of them apt get auto remove and we're going to say yes So we've got the 35017 headers removed. Another package we've got to add is Build Essential. App kit install build essential. And essentially this is a meta pack that contains all the packages necessary to build software or compile software on your computer. So we'll go ahead and install this. Okay, now I have a permission problem because I did not use sudo. So now we've got it, and of course, key in yes or Y. Once that's done, well, what we're going to do is install uh, VirtualBox manually, and we have to do that uh, from the um, CD. So we're going to go to Devices up here, Install Guest Editions, and you'll notice that this comes up, and we're going to cancel this. But we've got the CD vbox editions here so we're going to go cd slash media and that will get us to our cd me and then we're doing ls and user is mic cd mic and then we're going to do an ls again we're going to do a CD and if you've got more than one you've got this installed on more than one CD or you got different CDs in here you're going to have to type the whole thing in but all I'm going to do is type in VBox and then the star and it'll take care of everything for rest for me and then do an LS again so now that I'm in VBox editions the actual CD and what the program that I need to run is VBox Linux editions dot run so dot slash V box Linux editions dot run. Of course, I need to use sudo. I know that. Uh, let's just use an up arrow here and put a sudo in front of it. So there it goes. Uh, it does say the headers for the current running kernel were not found. I'm not sure about that error message, but uh, I think this will work anyway. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to the etc modules file. We'll edit that. We use sudo get it etc modules. Here at the end, we're, we're going to add a line called VBox Video. Make sure that you spell it right because it's not going to work if it's not spelled correctly. So that's in. We're simply going to hit Save and uh, File Quit. Once that's saved, we're going to restart the machine. Notice that we've got a little bit bigger screen install, so let's go to Terminal, T-E-R, Cluing Terminal. Let's go back to our support test. And this time we find that Unity 3D is supported. 
we can go ahead and close this. I don't know if you noticed, but it has been working a little bit quicker. Thank you, and hopefully you'll have uh, Unity 3D enabled on your uh, virtual machine.